Let's talk about Franco. You can find many videos that explain how to immune his hook, but they tell you only half of the story. Dodging Franco's hook is bugged, and I'll explain why. We all know this situation. The enemy has a Franco. A wild hook appears out of nowhere. We panic, we dash, and we get pulled. Why is it not working? To answer this, we need to understand how Franco hook works. It has two parts, stun and pull. It's possible to immune both parts individually. There's only one problem. If we immune the stun, we get pulled. And if we want to immune the pull, we can't because we are stunned. So how do we make that work? By default, the stun duration is half a second. Now we need a way to make it shorter. We can do that with tough boots. The description says reduces time controlled 30%. This means our stun is now shorter and we have a little bit of time between the two parts. Let's try it out. Ok, here's how it works. We hold our dash and wait until we get hit. Then we release our finger and automatically dash after the stun ends. After a few tries it's pretty easy to do and as you can see the dodge works in every direction. So maybe you wonder why the video is that long just to explain this. I did a lot of research over the past few weeks. In all the clips before my ping was around 40 milliseconds. Now let me show you something. I increased my ping to around 80 milliseconds by downloading something in the background. I still have my tough boots, so all I have to do now is to easily immune the hook as I did before, right? Let's do it. It doesn't work. All that changed was my ping. With a low ping it works easy every single time, but with a higher ping it doesn't work at all. Let me stop the downloads and get back to my normal ping. And now it works again without any issues. Ok so there is a problem when you have high ping. I'll show you another problem, more specifically a bug. I created a new game, the ping is around 40 milliseconds again. I just bought tough boots and now I can immune the hook, correct? So that didn't work, but what's wrong this time? All I did was change the side I play on, before I was on the red, now I'm on the blue side. Wait what? Are we not always on the same side? In the minimap we are always blue. Our score is always blue. The enemy's HP bars are always red. We can see the side we actually play on depending on the color of our towers and minions. Yes, and they are blue. Correct. But now look at the last game. Do you see it? Minimap blue. Score blue. Enemy HP bar red. Our towers and minions red. On the red side, dodging the hook is easy and works every time. On the blue side, no matter what I do, it will never work. Well, unless I buy the rock potion, which also decreases stun times. And now I can dodge the hook on the blue side as well. As you can see, it works every time and it's very easy. So, while I show you some footage of a practice game in the background, here's a quick recap. Chu can immune Frankel's hook. On the red side, you only need tough boots. On the blue side, you need tough boots and rock potion, or it will not work. This rule applies to custom mode, practice mode, and should apply to classic games. But it's even more complicated. Let's have a look at the clips I showed on the intro. Those dodges are all on the blue side. I have never dodged a hook on the red side in rank. I will show you some clips of other tutorial videos as well. You can always see that it's either a custom game on the red side or a practice game on the blue side. In the custom game it works with tough boots and in the practice game they always need rock potion as well. What does that mean? In a normal game, 
you almost never have full build and enough gold to buy a rock potion as well. So if you play on one side, you can immune the hook as soon as you get tough boots. That's after just a couple of minutes into the game. But if you play on the other side, you cannot immune the hook until you have full build and a rock potion. This puts you in a big disadvantage. I tried to find out why this happens, and I think I did. So I had an idea. I used Selena and stunned myself on maximum range and recorded it. Then I went into my video editor and cut every stun frame accurate. I did this for both sides. I put them side by side so you can see what's happening. This is with tough boots only, 10 stuns on each side. I also did the same thing without items and with rock potion only. I made a spreadsheet showing all my measured numbers. As you can see, you are stunned 2.5% longer on the blue side without items, 3.5% longer with tough boots and 3% longer with rock potion. The difference for each stun is pretty small, but there should be no difference to begin with. This was in custom mode, so you are stunned for a shorter time on the red side and you can only immune Franco hook on the red side. Coincidence? I think not. I reported this to Moontong, let's see what happens. So in short, Chu can immune Franco hook. In custom mode, practice mode and classic games, you need tough boots on the red side and an additional rock potion on the blue side. In ranked games the side changes. By the way, in rank you always play on the blue side if you are first pick. So in rank, if you are first pick, you only need tough boots to immune the hook. If you are second pick, you also need the rock potion. That's pretty unfair, isn't it? In classic, practice and custom, you are stunned shorter on the red side. So in rank, you should be stunned shorter on the blue side. But there is no way I can test this in rank. This is something Moonton has to check and fix. This was a lot of numbers and talking. I hope you learned something. Cheers. The rest of this video is for the developers. 